Hey folks, it's Chris Davis, author of Worthy, the memoir of an ex-Mormon lesbian. A lot of times I get parents who come to me and ask how they can be better allies for their queer children. Uh, you're doing a great job already just asking the question. And uh, my answer would be love, love them, but also be their advocate and um, stand up for their right to discover who they are and how they want to express themselves. Sometimes these families are in uh, social or religious circumstances that make it difficult to advocate for their children. Uh, think about how hard that is for your kid. <laughs> uh, you are the adult in this situation. I would also say that if your spouse is not on board, is not supportive, you are the one who will have to have that difficult conversation with your spouse so that you can get on the same page with your parenting. And I would even go so far as to advise that you can either get on board and support your queer kid on their journey and love them unconditionally, or you can, um, you can start writing their obituary. It really is that simple and direct. These kids need your support. Uh, and it's unfortunately, it's the parents who come to me uh, for advice that I have to tell these things to because the other parents aren't coming to me. Uh, and I realize that's a hard truth. Please decide your priorities and align your actions and your words with your values, with your family values. It may come down to you having to choose between your community, your faith community, your friends, your family members that you're close to versus your kid. It may come down to that. It did for me. And all I can advise is to choose love. Choose love over hate and be the parent that your kid needs you to be. Um, because the day will come when you, I guarantee it, when you will ask yourself why you couldn't have been the parent that your kid needed you to be. And uh, I, I hope that you'll be able to answer that in a way that will bring you peace uh, in this life or the next, whatever you believe. But um, consider, consider the harm that's being done by not loving your child, not accepting your child, not being the adult in their life who shows support and who shows compassion. Uh, and uh, to my uh, Christian brothers and sisters, I would tell you, this is what Jesus taught, is love. Uh, if your kid is not considered a neighbor, when he said, love your neighbor, who's your neighbor? Like this just comes down to love. Please show compassion. Please develop understanding. Uh, educate yourself and uh, keep asking uh, questions and be true to what you really believe and what's in your heart and don't give in to the pressures from outside influences. They won't matter in the end. It is between you and your kid. Please be the adult they need you to be.